Hi and welcome to Heal My Hemorrhoids, in this video you will learn how to tell if you have hemorrhoids, so watch the whole video to the end to get all of the tips you need. Remember to hit the subscribe and like button if you like this video. Almost 3 out of 4 adults have hemorrhoids but most get relief with home treatments and changes in their lifestyle. How to tell if you have hemorrhoids can be diagnosed in many ways. If you are feeling pain in the rectal area and lumps around the anus you probably suffer from hemorrhoids. Another sign is if you see blood in the toilet or on the tissue. Hemorrhoids do not necessarily need to be painful in the early stages. Hemorrhoids often occur due to increased pressure during pregnancy, overweight or constipation, or straining during a bowel movement. In midlife, hemorrhoid becomes a frequent complaint. Approximately half the population of people at the age of 50 have experienced several classic symptoms such as itching, rectal pain as well as bleeding and prolapse, which is a hemorrhoid that protrudes via the anal canal. How to tell if you have hemorrhoids is critical for your health, however, hemorrhoids are not that dangerous, but they can become recurrent and very painful. Likely, there are ways in which you can tackle hemorrhoids. In order for you to tell if you have hemorrhoids, there are some signs and symptoms you will have to check if they are present. These symptoms are excessive itching around your anus, irritation, as well as pain within your anus area, fecal leakage, blood presence on your tissue after experiencing a bowel movement, extremely painful bowel movement or painful or itchy swelling or lump around your anus. You should note that, despite it being painful, a hemorrhoid is not life-threatening, and it often disappears on its own without treatment. If you experience hemorrhoids frequently, you might begin experiencing anemia symptoms such as pale skin and weakness, which is associated with the loss of blood. However, this is not common. How to tell if you have hemorrhoids is essential, however, understanding the causes of hemorrhoids will help in preventing them from occurring. Despite experts not being sure things that lead to the development of hemorrhoids, they came up with some possible factors which include, complications as a result of chronic constipation, family history of hemorrhoids, sitting for an extended period, especially in a toilet and straining while having a bowel movement. Risk factors associated with hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids can be transmitted genetically from the parent to the child, therefore, if your parent is suffering from hemorrhoids, the chances of you getting it are high. Furthermore, obesity, consistent heavy lifting, and straining your body increase the likelihood of getting hemorrhoids. Standing for an extended period without having any break to sit can lead to the development of hemorrhoids as well. Moreover, consistent anal sex is associated with hemorrhoids development. During pregnancy, the chances of developing hemorrhoids increase due to the expansion of the uterus. As the uterus enlarges, it increases pressure on the vein in your colon, which makes it bulge. How to find out if you have hemorrhoids? Once you familiarize yourself with the process of how to tell if you have hemorrhoids, diagnosing it will be beneficial. One of the best methods of diagnosing hemorrhoids is by examining the anus. For the diagnosis to be confirmed, your doctor might perform a different examination to assess for any abnormalities present within your anus. This examination is referred to as a digital rectal exam. In this process, the doctor will insert a lubricated and gloved finger into the rectum. When they feel any abnormalities, they perform another test known as sigmoidoscopy. The sigmoidoscopy examination is a process in which a doctor uses a small camera in diagnosing internal hemorrhoids. The small fiber optic camera is known as a sigmoidoscope, and it fits in a small tube that is inserted into your rectum. During this test, your doctor will have a clear view inside your rectum, which will help them examine for hemorrhoids up close. Hemorrhoids can be treated at home or in your doctor's office. Some of the treatment options for hemorrhoids are Pain relief Since hemorrhoids are associated with a sharp pain in your anus, managing the pain becomes critical. In order to minimize the severe pain, it best if you soak in a warm bathtub for approximately 10 minutes daily. You might as well consider seating on a warm water bottle, which will help you relieve this awful pain associated with external hemorrhoids. However, if the pain becomes unbearable, it will be best if you use an over-counter medicated suppository, cream, or ointment to help in relieving the pain. Usually, these hemorrhoid suppositories are available both in stores and online e-commerce stores. Taking more fiber. 
When having constipation, using fiber supplements will aid in managing it accordingly. These supplements are responsible for softening stool, which helps in improving bowel movement. You can get these supplements in online stores as well as stores near you. Some of the common fiber supplements available in today's market are methyl cellulose and psyllium. Using home remedies in the fight against hemorrhoids. Apart from over-the-counter remedies such as hemorrhoid cream or hydrocortisone, which help in easing discomfort associated with hemorrhoids, you might consider using some home remedies as well. Some of the home remedies include soaking your anus for approximately 10 to 15 minutes in a sitz bath every day. Moreover, practicing good hygiene, for instance, cleaning your anus with warm water when taking a shower every day, will help ease discomfort associated with hemorrhoids. However, you should not use soap while cleaning your anus since it can aggravate the hemorrhoids. Furthermore, you should avoid using rough or dry tissue paper to wipe yourself after a bowel movement. You might consider using a cold compress to help in reducing hemorrhoid swelling on your anus. Some painkillers such as ibuprofen, acetaminophen, or aspirin will help in alleviating the discomfort or pain associated with hemorrhoids. Medical procedures used when have hemorrhoids. If you feel the home remedies are not working for you, then it will be best if you seek medical assistance. In medical procedures, your doctor might consider using a rubber band ligation. This is a process in which a doctor cuts off hemorrhoid circulation and replaces it with a rubber band around it. This process will lead to a loss of circulation to hemorrhoids, which will then make it shrink. A doctor only performs the process, therefore, you should not try this at home. If you consider rubber band ligation not best for you, then the doctor might perform sclerotherapy or injection therapy. During this process, the doctor will inject a chemical into your blood vessel. The chemical will help in reducing the size of the hemorrhoids. It's a fact, curing hemorrhoids can never be achieved by tackling one of the many factors responsible for hemorrhoids. If you've ever tried to cure your hemorrhoids using a one-dimensional treatment like pills, creams, or suppositories and failed it's probably because you have tackled only one aspect of the disease. Cure hemorrhoids without drugs, creams, or typical hemorrhoid treatments. Drugs, creams, and typical hemorrhoids treatments sometimes work in a partial way and temporarily and the side effects are nasty. The tiny handful of hemorrhoids sufferers who have learned how to treat their hemorrhoids from within and without ever using drugs or over-the-counters are the only people in the world who keep their system clear of hemorrhoids permanently. As we come to a conclusion, we hope that this article will guide you on how to tell if you have hemorrhoids. It would be best if you always remembered that hemorrhoids are not life-threatening but can cause severe pain and, in some cases, leads to anemia due to high blood loss. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. I hope the video was helpful for you. For more articles and videos go to healmyhemorrhoids.com or this YouTube channel.